Thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of Big Bear Boxing Squad, episode number 17. The conversation I want to get into today is Shakur Stevenson in a lot of trouble with top rank, or could he take advantage of the situation? Let's get into the conversation. A couple of days ago, I, I interviewed Oscar Valdez outside of the MGM brand. And frankly, I, I let him know what you've been saying about, hey, you can't run anymore, it's time to fight. And he basically, he laughed at you and said, go ahead and sign it up, line it up. Let's make the fight. What's your response to Oscar but, Valdez? But, but then y'all go watch interviews, because you know, I, I like to sit at home, I watch YouTube. Mm -hmm. I see all the interviews. I, I don't be in the, like, at, the, at the fights and all that all the time. So I'll be with my family, you know, but I still be watching. You hear him say that to you, but then you hear Bob go in the interview and say, well, his team didn't say that. His team said we want to fight North Rodney. They don't want to fight Shakur. What's the real issue? Who you going to believe? Valdez saying that in the interview to you? Or him and his team going to Bob Aaron and saying we want to fight Very North good company to build a fighter's career, to build a fighter. They are actually very good at it. I've always said it. They're one of the very best to do it. But when it comes to, like, a uh, star... Uh, they, they, they're not always the, 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 the most fair. I mean, they got to make money, I get it, but I just don't like that they keep things away, you know, in the dark. And, uh, and, and, and the track record proves it. De La Hoya left, he made the most money. Mayweather left, he made the most money. Cotto left, made the most money. Yeah, Bob Arum is a piece of fucking shit. Good night, everybody. So here's my opinion on the whole top break situation. This is part, you know, kind of like a part three. Uh, but I, I mainly want to focus on Shakur Stevenson because he's the youngest. Uh, he's he's a champion. He's a great fighter. I think he, he's one of the most dangerous fighters. Uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, even Tank Davis as far as skill level. Uh, Devin Haney. Um, I think he can hang in there with, with either one of those fighters. Um, not saying that either one. Of, I, I'm not so much concerned about who will beat who. Um, but I really want to focus on Shakur Stevenson because, like I say, he is young, uh, and and he is also uh, the friend of Terrence Crawford. So with the drama that's going on with Terrence Crawford and with Top Rank Bob Arum, you know, is is it becoming a, a issue for? Shakur Stevenson um, will it become an issue you know for Shakur Stevenson or could he take advantage of it? a lot of times it's like when you're a kid when you get in trouble or you say your sibling getting in trouble you want to make sure you are on your P's and Q's or if something happens somebody want to treat you a little bit better because they don't want to be in trouble so you get what I'm saying with the analogy so I, it's kind of tough with this one um, you know I think he could take advantage of it I think Bob Aaron will want to show a different hand with Shakur Stevenson but you know just like Mikey Garcia said man after all so many fighters have left top rank great boxers Oscar De La Hoya uh, Manny Pacquiao Floyd Mayweather I mean the, the list Cesar Chavez I mean so many so many fighters that I can name um you know that left top rank you know you are a promoter and you have had your hands on some of the best boxers ever in the sport of boxing and you can't hold on to none of them um and the reason why i wanted to bring this topic up is because Shakur stevenson i heard reports that he was saying don't put him in it as far as what uh terrence crawford is going through and i know that they're really great, great friends i know that they spar a lot i know they talk a lot uh, but it's, it's got to be something that's a little strange about it when you know your friend going away one way and you going another way and i'm pretty sure terrence crawford is more like a mentor to him because like I say, Shakur Stevenson is so young. So Shakur Stevenson, he got to think about himself as far as business, and I get it. But sometimes when you're young, you don't really see it until it's too late. And I'm trying to figure out, will it be too late? Or could he take advantage of it as far as, like I say, Terrence Crawford is going through some turmoil with him. He's not with top rank anymore as far as the media is, is uh, projected. So, you know, what... Does that affect Shakur Stevenson mindset? Is Shakur Stevenson going to finish out his contract, start his own promotional company, or sign with another promotional company? In my opinion, I think he should sign with another promotional company because where there's smoke, there's fire, and if it's a, it's a repetition of the same act over and over and over, obviously nothing is going to change. 
So I see no point in Shakur Stevenson sticking around and not becoming the best fighter. Uh, even with the Valdez, you know, Valdez was on some, you know, steroids or some kind of thing, herbal tea or whatever he was taking. And that that could hurt you. You know, Shakur Stevenson can go into a fight with him and he could lose because of cheat. So Shakur Stevenson got to look at it like this. If if, if my, my friend and, and my mentor is, is leaving, it's got to be something. If Floyd Mayweather left, it's got to be something. It's all these other top fighters, Shane Mosley, every, I mean, every, every, everybody. If everybody jumped ship and actually made more money and became a bigger star, so of course Stevenson, with the business of boxing, which I try to speak on a lot, the business of boxing, he should be thinking in his head, where should I go? Where is it for me to go? You know, he's so talented. You know, what if what if he, he gets done or uh, put in a, a position that's worse than what Terrence Crawford is going through right now? Terrence Crawford should be a bigger star right now. Nobody cannot argue that. He's pound for pound number one. He has knocked everyone out. How you a knockout artist and you have no star power? He can't. You can't even put Terrence Crawford right now on a pay-per-view unless he fight Errol Spence, which Errol Spence will carry that car mostly. So, Shakur Stevenson got to be looking at, like, if, if, if my guy is going this way, I need to probably be taking note, trying to figure out what's going on, and see where I need to go. You know, he's with Jay Prince, and I'm pretty sure Jay Prince wants nothing but the best from him. And Jay Prince has a, a great reputation with fighters. He's worked with some of the biggest fighters like Floyd Mayweather. And look what happened to his career. You know, so you got great people around you, you know, Shakur Stevenson. So you got to figure out which way you got to go. You can't worry about, you know, maybe in a sense you cannot worry about what Terrence Crawford is doing. You got to worry about what you're doing. So... With, with all that said, I think him being so young, he might be blind right now. Being only 24 years old, you think you know it all as a kid. You know, you want to you, you want to show out, you want to show who you are, and, and you want to believe in yourself, which is fine. But to be in the best position, especially in the sport of boxing, you can't fight forever. You know, you get, you get a short window. Boxing is a short window. It's almost like a running back in the NFL. You get a short window to prove yourself, and when you're done, you want enough money to live. And so I don't know who's in Shakur's ear. I don't know if Bob Arum got into his ear when Terrence Crawford started, you know, as far as suing top rank and everything. But like I said, you look at you can look at clips on um, anywhere on YouTube and you can find fighters that has been disgruntled with uh, top rank and their decision making. You know, they I think Shakur Stevenson, in a way, you can almost argue he should be a bigger star. He cannot get he barely got the fight that he got. Uh, you know, a couple months ago, you know, is uh, with Jamel Heron. It's, it's, it's one of those things where he's going to have to sit down with his team, Jay Prince and, and whoever, and, and really focus on himself and try to see if he can lead himself to a victory as far as when you retire, that you retire with your sense and you retire, you become a big star so you can get paid. You don't get paid in the sport of boxing unless you are a star. Just want to thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of Big Bear Boxing Squad, episode number 17. Just want to thank you guys. We're currently sitting at 64 followers. I'm trying to get to 100 before the end of this month. So you guys, please make sure you hit the notification bell, um, hit the like icon, and subscribe to the page for the uh, best boxing content on YouTube. Um, I also drop uh, old classic fights. Uh, they will drop every day at 12 o'clock. All my premiere videos will drop every day at 6.30. So if you hit the notification bell, you will get the updates on new and upcoming videos that I'm doing. I actually hit the premiere so you can actually interact with the conversation before the video actually drops. Uh, make sure you watch, try to watch the video through the duration. And also make sure if you watch my videos, make sure you try to leave a like. That way the conversation can get even bigger because it helps the algorithm of, of YouTube. So I just want to thank you guys again. If you want to see what I'm wearing, shoptachi.com. All my social media platforms will be down in the description below. Please go check me out on Twitch. Do have more boxing content over there. But with that said, that's, thank you for tuning in to another episode of Big Bear Boxing Squad.